This is my identity. Sianamkela kwa kona kuyona yotwa inkubo e nkolo eza shukeneo e chongane no kufundi sa kwaye no konwa bisa kwenye nam ufiwe kwala. Uba sandungena, uposo ingoko eyo lisaye ibipato ngumbu mimbeto, apo kona ebe ngoko la no Amanda Kandiwere. Moving on to the next story, Unite in Babylon is a global sacred singing circle movement that aims to promote unity of faiths and religions. Using music as a means of reconnecting us to each other, the sacred chants are fast becoming a worldwide phenomenon and South Africa is not far behind. The identity team was eager to experience the celebration of religious diversity, so they headed to Parktown in Johannesburg for an evening of spiritual upliftment. Here's what they captured. This is my identity. South Africa is a fusion of beautiful religions and cultures where we all coexist with one another in harmony and peace. The Interfaith Jam Session was formed to counteract the unbalanced tendencies of city life and to reconnect us through music. Sacred stands for the South African Centre for Religious Equality and Diversity and we're affiliated to the South African Union for Progressive Judaism. Sacred's two main objectives are to provide a progressive religious voice on issues of social, moral and ethical concern to South Africa and to fight all forms of religious discrimination, whether against religion or by religion. My main motivation is, is starting the, the Interfaith Sacred Chance here in Johannesburg is that uh, South Africa stands for um, a great religious tolerance. Even when other things were hot, like uh, the racial tense or other tenses, always there was a sense of religious tolerance in this country, and this country embody and enshrine the idea of pluralism and many paths to the divine. This is a completely uh, open space. Everybody is here because they appreciate the uniqueness of their own religion and of other religions and want to learn from each other. And that's very unique, and because it's the only place that you can do this in Johannesburg, it's bound to have an effect. This is the Rainbow Nation. I feel it is part of my mission as a clergy serving in this country to bring forward ideas of uh, tolerance, of uh, coexistence, and uh, finding the truth. You know, uh, there are many paths to the spirit, but the spirit is one in, in, in all, all of us, and the spirit is generous and willing. Nandi zambi zinda okoma zwen bendi ebendi setting zwen ko kandi kula ko Europe ko USA ko Middle East was banning the banda bazenza ezi zinto zichand moba as na ba la as ketim tumba wena poma pika wena kaufun wenza lento otimu ba iza iza taxi zanga pans kompe pom ba wa zupila na ban. It's very enlightening to see how each faith and each group of people that reunite to worship God in a very different understanding of what God is. And by learning these chants and by chanting and partaking in, we lose the fear. And by losing the fear, we let go of the apprehension against other people. This is a very unique event. It, it must be realistically the only place in Johannesburg where you can come into contact with five or six different faith groups, all here to learn and to teach and to bond through the singing of sacred chants. The Circular Chance is an initiative to present uh, spiritual tradition from all over the world. Uh, myself as a Jew, but I am an um, inheritor of the spirit, like um, all other traditional spirits uh, in the world. It's about the Umoya, who is spirituality, and people from Rome, who are not living in the world, who are not living in Agukoso important ba uputing ng ng kologulo. Into e e e e sem sem ko ang dalhin is yai ba utiko na na o ni kada na kada na na bulera na ba ko utiko bunga kada na kula ko ako emoyen bunga kada na no kwenza ko ako isinto na banta o sa na na bensa bensa 
My experience in relating to this chance with other people from different faiths as a Catholic has been very enriching. First, because I learned that many of the Catholic songs and prayers come from this ancient religion, especially Judaism and Islam are very connected to our roots. So it makes us learn a lot. I think music is, is one of the, the languages that is quite universal. In chanting, you can do it together with different religions. You don't need to, to understand the words, it's more coming from the soul. So I think that it helps to bring us together with different religions. Living in South Africa for a couple of years as a foreigner, I see this as one of the steps forward to continue with the Mandela's legacy. Because his legacy was to unite amongst division. No one needs to actually resign their beliefs to be in peace and tolerate each other. And I think that the more knowledge we have of each other's faith and goodness in their own religion and in their own faith is going to make us respect, tolerate and grow social tissue which we needed desperately in order to build those bridges that need to end. We need to do the effort. If we will do the effort, then surely impact will come. If we are aligned, if we are...